Aslam Alakim. I hope you are in best state of health. Today we are going to talk about an extreme Wi-Fi hacking course. Almost four years ago this project was sold by a YouTuber PNP Tutorials. I take too many courses in these four years but still appreciate his work. Now one of my friends wanted to learn this course I recommend him that channel but I come to know that channel was hacked and deleted. Luckily I repaired my old laptop and got same course downloaded. So I am uploading this course on my channel technical headquarter without removing any credit intro, content or logo. I have also improved some of his videos because these videos was too old but still very informative. Warning, this video is created for the educational use and to show the various techniques of the wireless penetration testing. Using this information for the malicious activity can send you behind the jail. In this video, we have used our own router for the demonstration so don't be a fool and act smartly. Okay, so let's see the IP address of our Kali Linux. Because we have no external adapter connected to it but it must have created some internal virtual interface so let's try to do the IW config and there it is it has the Ethernet 0 and the loopback interface so we have to connect external wireless card to be able to hack the Wi-Fi networks okay so what we will gonna do is I have the TP-Link USB Wi-Fi adapter so I will connect that Wi-Fi adapter into my laptop now the external USB Wi-Fi adapter has been connected. Now what I will do is I'll try to do the IW config again. Okay guys, so now we have connected the external USB Wi-Fi adapter which is the WN0. Now let's try to enable the monitor mode. So before we further proceed on to the monitor mode, I wanted to talk about the monitor mode. Actually there are two types of mode present into a wireless card. First one is the managed mode which is opt by the wireless card by default. And second one is the monitor mode. Okay, on to the managed mode, we can connect to anyone's Wi-Fi with the credentials. But on to the monitor mode, we can inject the packet to some router. We can do more things which we cannot do on to the managed mode. Okay, so that's the reason why we put our wireless card onto the monitor mode to hack the Wi-Fi and all these things. So here I'm using the TP-Link USB Wi-Fi adapter and its model is TL-WN7. 22N. So this USB Wi-Fi adapter supports the monitor mode and it doesn't require any kind of driver to be installed in the Kali Linux operating system. So now what I'm going to do is I'll try to enable the monitor mode. So for enabling the monitor mode all you need to do is to just type in here airmon ng start wlan0 hit enter and when you will gonna do this then let's do the IW config and there it is WN0 mon so the monitor mode has been enabled on the WN0 and the WN0 interface is no more available and it has been replaced via WN0 mon so now what you need to do is let's check if our WN0 mon is working or not so let's scan all the networks around us via command called aerodump ng Dump ng now we need to specify the interface and interface should be of the monitor mode so i am going to type in here with wn0 mon hit enter now when i will do this then i will be able to see all the available wi-fi around me okay guys so these are the available wi-fi around me and here we have the vs id it means the MAC addresses of every single router which are in the range of our USB Wi-Fi adapter and there are four routers found here the data it means the packets traveling between the routers and the stations okay so this router is quite active it means it is continuously sending the packets people are using this particular router very frequently okay but all these three routers are in the passive state it means either there is no client connected to all of these router or it may happen that the client are connected to the Wi-Fi router but they are not using the Wi-Fi router right now okay so this is the ninja router which is quite active and these are the stations which are connected to the corresponding routers so here it is E006 this is the MAC address which is connected to this particular router that is 908D and 908D is the Ninja router okay 
and 8C77165D this is connected to the 2C colon 30 and 2C colon 30 is the movie router okay so if you wanted to capture the information of particular router then how you will gonna do this for capturing the information of particular router what you need to do is you need to simply type in here aero dump ng and then b stand for the bss id and bss id is suppose i wanted to see the connected client of the ninja router then what i will do is i will simply copy this mac address which is the mac address of the ninja router okay and let's put the channel channel name is one and the interface name and interface name is wn0 mon and hit enter so it is saying invalid band maybe we have to put the bs id here dash dash bss id and here we need to put the channel i guess and you can see guys this ninja router have the two clients connected to it first one is the e0 06 now it has the three client connected to it now they can see data is increasing at very high rate it means this router is quite active the traffic on this router is very high so what we can do here is we can do the sniffing of these stations which are connected to the bss id so for doing the sniffing what you need to do is you need to simply press the control c to stop this process now what i will do is i will simply type in here write because i have wanted to write all the packets which are flowing from this router to somewhere else i wanted to write it into the test file and hit enter now what will gonna happen it will write all the data packets which are coming from this wi-fi router into a file called test let's give it some time now let's press the control c do the ls here and they can see guys we have put the file name as test but it has already created the four file here test01.cap test01.csv and all these files now what i am going to do is i am going to look for these packets in the detail so for that i am going to make the use of wireshark so i am going to open the wireshark by typing the wireshark command in the terminal hit enter now it is taking a bit of time and there we go now it is loading the modules now it is giving us warning so let's click on ok now what i'm going to do is i will give it a file and click on this icon that is open a captured file and we have captured the file called test and to this wireshark we are going to give this file that is test-01.cap open this file so when i will click on open you can see the details of the packets captured from this router you can see this is the d-link router and the device which was connected to the d-link router was this honchai's precision and this is the network interface name actually and let's see the other packets and there is Ruku's wireless here it may be Ruku's wi-fi and we have other packets information as well let's scroll down to the bottom most packets are exchanged between the honchai precision and the d-link router so maybe this is the client which is consuming much data okay guys so this is how we capture the packets which are flowing from the router so we can capture them and can see the generalized information via wireshark